Hello Leo, welcome to your reading for November 2020. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Signs. Special welcome to my podcast listeners on Amazon, Apple and Spotify. Leo, let's take a look at your reading. It's all about you this month in November and how you are seeing yourself. We have the card of smoke and mirrors. This is about seeing through misguided perceptions and a lens of past conditioning. The goddess of 10,000 names. It feels to me like releasing an old identity, a construct, something that is built up over time, something that you've built a belief that this is who you are, that this is who you'll remain. It feels like the shedding of an old self. Around you, two moon cards came up, both water energy. We've got the full moon in Pisces. We've also got the new moon in Cancer. Now, full moon in Pisces energy, the, uh, the Pisces, of course, is the last sign of the zodiac. So the full moon in Pisces does symbolically mark endings. And uh, it is a very emotional time, of course. Piscean energies. Leo, the energy that I'm feeling around you here is about soulmates. I, I get an energy here of releasing your fears regarding a romance, a soulmates. I also get a feeling here of avoiding any kind of uh, substance, like substance abuse, that kind of thing. So ending, ending anything, Leo, that feels toxic, moving towards something that feels a lot more uh, spiritual in nature. Uh, balancing out your life in terms of getting the practicalities aligned with your new sense of self. So leaving behind things that are no longer aligned with you. You're coming into this more spiritual sense of self. That's what I'm sensing. Now we have this new moon in Cancer energy as well which is about loved ones you and your, your loved ones. It's a, again a, emotions, we're talking about a water sign energy. You may have a lot of water in your chart Leo and uh, the moon is a very happy in the sign of Cancer so you are usually someone here who I feel is attuned to, to that more emotional kind of uh, side of yourself Leo. It feels like a new cycle is starting for you. I get that you're being asked to let someone get a little bit closer to you. And I get a sense of more peace coming into your life, a, a new start. But there's also this energy of releasing the old you, who you, who you had uh, previously presented as. So let's see, guys could be you, could be someone around you, or Leo. It, uh, it may resonate as a, a Leo that you're dealing with. So let's see, I've already meditated on your energy, but I'll do a few more shuffles here, Leo. Yeah, a lot of water energy in your uh, reading this month, November. We are coming into Scorpio time, so it does make sense. It seems like you're feeling quite emotional about the past, letting go of this past version of yourself, stepping into something which feels more aligned with the future. That's what I'm getting. So let's see here, Leo. For the month of November, let's see what we have. We have the Ten of Swords, so that would be that ending that completion there. The Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. And the King of Swords. The World. The Knight of Pentacles. The Judgment card. And the overall energy is the Tower. All right. Wow, 
that is some pretty intense energy that I'm picking up there Leo the tower as your overall energy for the reading yeah this is this is the destruction of the old you it's going to feel jarring but it's also going to feel wonderful because right in the center I've got the six of wands so this is going to feel a mixture of a little bit of imbalance in your life like you can't quite get your footing but it won't be too long before you're starting to feel this sense of empowerment it's very strong past energy with this ten of swords I feel like you're letting go of a version of yourself that you had held on to for a long period of time I get it as a lens of past conditioning something here that you were led to believe about yourself from a young age I've got it as a sense here of inadequacy of not feeling good enough of not feeling like you could achieve a lot of success it seems to have held you back this past conditioning Leo it feels like whatever wherever you built this world of yours with the tower it was built inaccurately like you were built on a faulty foundation from this past conditioning I've got it as family you may have had family members that were not supportive of you that didn't maybe you had a lot of people in your family here Leo or you had people around you that were just generally not very supportive and so you felt alone you felt like you had to do it yourself you felt you felt like you've, you've had to struggle that's what I'm getting you've uh, also gone down the road here of trying to find who you are trying to find your authentic self that's been a struggle for you too I'm seeing that here so this faulty construct you know we have generally as 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 people we do have these innate fears in that what we see around us is all there all there is or all there ever will be but we do know deep down on an intrinsic level that there is more yet something something holds us back that fear it's all about perception of how we see the world you know the if we see the world in a way which is limited then that is going to, to limit how we view ourselves and how we view our part in the world and, and how we view uh, our future success but if we if we start to take a different viewpoint if we start to see things differently this judgment card speaking to me of making a decision to to leave those parts of yourself that you that were built on a faulty foundation in the past and step through into a, a new life cycle I feel like the spirit guide is saying here that you will be safe in this journey so there's no need to fear it the world is opening up for you here uh, Leo I get you taking one day at a time taking things step by step the two kings here I feel are you whether you're masculine or feminine we have the uh, doesn't matter how you identify here guys these two kings are your energies Leo right in the middle of that is the six of wands so wow is all I can say you, you're coming into your own here as king of pentacles king of swords energy 
it's by taking action from your higher self taking that more higher minded spiritual mindset it's by believing in yourself it's also by doing the honorable thing always acting with integrity being true to yourself and true to people around you honesty matters here and building building on your success i get for you it, it's it's not a fast moving journey it's i do get some slow movement here but there's a tower event that is changing things but i, I get it as a gentle tower it is a tower moment and you're feeling it but on the other side of the tower i feel it depends upon how you choose to view perceive this tower is how you're going to deal with it now if you see the tower event happening here leo and you're saying to yourself oh that's it that's the end that's the end for me i'm i'm not going to be able to cope with this i'm not going to do anything about uh, changing my life because tower events come into our life in order for us to see where we need to change and grow where things have been built on a faulty foundation or a misperception so you're being asked to look to look at your life and and look look at it from a, the perspective of what needs to change but if you want to stay in that same place that you've been in then things are not going to go well but leo if you can put an end to the cycle recognizing that there's nothing to fear moving ahead this tower event is saying there's nothing to fear here leo step forward it's kind of like going about your life day to day mundane stuff doing the same old same old for a number of years saying well this is it this is all there is this is all it all there ever will be and one day boom this tower event happens and it's the universe stepping in to put you on it on the track that you're supposed to be on now if you can see that as growth if you can see that as nothing to fear and if you can step forward and, and take the practical steps needed to take action to change your life and to go down the path that you're being led by spirit then i see you golden i, I see you being able to step forward here and and be able to uh, to experience life in a way in which you haven't for pro probably ever i see you stepping forward to to great success uh, to material uh, abundance and i also see you as stepping forward experiencing great adventure uh, the world opens up for you uh, you start to be seen by others in a different way as well judged by uh, by others in a different way judging yourself in a different way in the future as well so where you judged yourself is inadequate or that this was never going to happen to you that success was for other people or happiness was for other people where you may have compared yourself unfavorably to others in the past i get all of that is the thing that is being needed to be left behind here by this tower event whatever that was or whatever that is that you're dealing with here i feel that in november you're dealing with the aftermath of this tower event but it's bringing in success for you you know the thing is if you're seeing this tower as bringing in something bad then how you perceive that tower if you perceive that tower event as as bringing in something bad then i don't feel leo that anything is really going to change for you but if you perceive it as okay this is actually something that's bringing in a wonderful new start for me 
a, a, a challenge, yes, because I feel like it's going to call into mind a lot of practicalities. You're being asked to to deal with 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 things that you've been perhaps putting to one side for a long time. Uh, for some of you, it's uh, I do get that energy of substance, substance abuse. That's for some Leos. I also get the energy here of emotions realignment when it comes to your emotional life I get soulmate energy bringing in a soulmate as well during this particular time I'm not seeing their energy here but I sense them around you they want to come in this uh, new moon in cancer full moon in Pisces energy is also about uh, allowing others to come close to you to get closer to you here during the month of November and see yourself as worthy, see yourself as someone who is attracting in a, a spiritual partner who is a, a also aligned on this same path. You've probably both experienced tower events in recent times in, in order to bring you both together. Leo, that's what I'm sensing. Yeah, it's delicate. I, I get you. Uh, it, it's a very precarious situation that you're finding yourself in because it, it is the dawning of a, a new day and it's leaving behind that old perception of who you were, who you, who you believed yourself to be, who you thought you always would be. This tower event is changing that. It's changing how you're looking at yourself and it's changing how others are looking at you and it's a beautiful thing you have to be patient patient with yourself you have to allow yourself time because there are practicalities here that need to be dealt with during this transition time for you don't listen to others you're on the right path I'm also getting that from spirit and leaving behind these uh, these old perceptions of yourself you may also need to leave behind some people or at least limit limit your access to people who perhaps have validated that sense of, of your old self it could be family members people who didn't support you people who uh, people who jumped on the bandwagon of, of naysayers people who were neg negative people negative people I get you realigning yourself with a, a lot more positivity a lot more spiritual energy around you here with this world card it feels like living more life. It feels like more life in you. It feels like more energy, getting your, your health back here for a lot of you Leos as well. Feeling alive, re reborn, rebirthed. Wow, a, a lot of uh, fantastic energy around you here for the month of uh, November. But let's have a look. We'll get a card from the Spirit Animal Oracle message okay what do we have the snow leopard strongly independent yes often solitary yes integrity is important we have that king of swords and the king of pentacles we have here uh, using your intuition as well the snow leopard yeah the snow leopard I get a strong sense of independence and sense of, uh, but I actually feel that that's, that's energy related to one of the, I see this goddess of 10,000 names here, of just part of you. I feel that yes, that's part of you, but it, it's, it's, that's, it's that part of you that I feel was very prominent in the past. People saw you as someone who was very self-reliant, uh, not needing anyone, uh, solitary, 
that kind of energy but I feel like there's more to this I feel like there's uh, there's more that's that's more past energy not that that's bad I don't feel that it is dog friend yeah I feel like this is a soulmate coming in someone who's going to be loyal uh, unconditional love someone who brings in an energy and enthusiasm is, is an inspiration a happiness a protector and friend that's beautiful so more less solitary energy more friend more soulmate uh, energy that I'm picking up around you here both of them together you know I feel yeah it feels like it's going to start as friendship first but then it's going to progress to more I get that sense here what else do we have here for Leo ladybug a bright energy letting worry go being happy feeling good about being a loving and colorful you blessing the world with color and good luck <coughs> excuse me yes wow so good fortune is smiling on you here in November Leo I feel like a, a friend around you here is, is inspiring you to be a better person I feel like it is a soulmate I'm not getting love here but uh, of course that could progress into love at, at a later stage I do feel that there is support from this person they're helping you grow to see yourself in a different light and that's a beautiful thing I do get a sense here that uh, you're being asked to let this person into your life as a friend first and uh, I feel like uh, at, at a later stage this may grow into something more because they are they are on your path here for a reason Leo and I feel it's so that you can shed this old conditioning this old version of who you thought you who you thought you were is is being stripped away here with that tower and, and rebuilt with this stronger better new improved Leo Leo and, and I feel that this is going to give you this sense of being reborn wow beautiful energy Leo I'm gonna leave it there and wish you all the very best with this if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com please do like share and subscribe if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you if you are interested in becoming a, a channel member please be sure to check out the join button or look in the box below for more information I'm offering early access to my uh, some of my channel members there so please do check that out join my band of gypsies if you're listening on the podcast on Apple, Spotify and Amazon, I thank you very much for listening. Please do uh, take care and uh, be sure to uh, check me out on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Gypsy Insights by Michelle for more readings. Leo, what can I say? It's, it's an absolutely gorgeous reading, but it's going to be up to you how you uh, deal with this, uh, this tower event that uh, is either happening in November or has just recently led to this sense of... Um, powerful change a uh, shift here in your life thank you again leo please take care and enjoy the rest of november bye for now